Big baits, thick lines, heavy weights, to a degree. What's up everybody? Oliver and I here. Welcome back to the Big Bass Dreams channel. We are fishing with Jeremy Pratt. We got my man Kyle behind the camera today. We are chasing Big Bass Dreams here in Central Minnesota. So yeah, today the, the water temperature is kind of plummeted from upper 80s to mid 80s to now it's probably low 70s even, maybe mid 70s. So we're trying a variety of baits. Oliver just got a five pounder that jumped out of the net on his big uh, three quarter ounce swim jig. And uh, I'm throwing a Cinco jig head, but yeah, we're gonna try a bunch of different spots. Offshore, inshore, we got lily pads, we got points. It's really interesting this time of year when the water temp drops, uh, the, the Minnesota bass have a tendency to, they can shut down. I've had a lot of friends tell me uh, other lakes are having, it's being really tough, but the water temperature drops, the, the plankton kind of dies off, the grass dies off, the bait fish that's been hiding gets exposed and the bass just kind of go on a feeding binge. And so I got the anchor for the first time on the red sleigh, this canoe that we're in. Um, I typically just paddle which is kind of ridiculous, but it, I feel like I have spot lock in this canoe now. <laughs> it's really, it's really nice. It's, it ate the bait, swam in on me, on the hook set. Jeremy's hooked up right Coming now. Coming toward me, and it's not big, I don't think. Well. But uh, we are out here. We are getting it done, getting after it. Oh, oh that's a big. <laughs> Jeremy's aye, got, aye, a, aye. got a stud on there. That would have been, oh dude, that's a, Nice. Oh! Get in the net. Got him. That's two in a row that are big ones, man. Too big. Woo! Look at this thing, dude. Look at the head. Oh, dude. You just made me turn my head just so I can get a face full of slimy water. <laughs> Thanks. Dude, this is a giant, dude. That's a big. Look, we got a 5.5 five in the boat right off the bat. All right, here she goes. When you get onto a main lake big fish spot where there's dominant fish, you want to go with the big bait first and see if you can get the biggest fish to bite first. And then after doing that, go finesse on that same spot and you can pick up biters that were getting finicky towards the big bait. It's the quickest and easiest way to pluck the, <laughs> the biggest fish and the most fish off of a spot. And that's what Oliver's doing now. People are kind of surprised. I'm excited to fish out of the canoe and the kayaks. And yeah. it's like, man, it's just a, it's a different game. Keep, it keeps you fresh. Yeah, like all you know, the big bass guys that have big boats. They're right. like, why are you fishing in that? You know what's funny? It's like, poop. It's like obviously, <laughs> oh, snap. Oh, it got me in a freaking tree, dude. It got me in a tree. If this is a bass, it's a big, dude. Oh, it's a big. Dude, look at that. Dude, it's getting worked. <laughs> I'm getting worked on a jig rod. Dude. Oh, how long has it been since you've been in the gym? Oh my gosh. What is that thing? Just another five pounder, guys. But it's got, it got me in a brush pile and it got me in my own anchor <laughs> and it worked me with a jig rod. Worked, yeah. Oh uh, yeah. It's a good fish, guys. Happy to have her. She worked me on the jig rod. <laughs> All right, here you go, girl. And today we are fishing a brand new buzz bait from my boys at Mega Bass. I mean, you can throw it in the deepest stuff and it's just gurgling through. Yeah, this is a pretty unique deal. The ability of this new bug is super high. Look at where I just threw this thing. Yeah. And it's coming through thick pads, overhangs, occasional strands of grass. I'm gonna be able to get bit in the little pockets like you would normally, where you would normally throw a frog or as this bait is causing a ruckus and then hits that outside edge. That's pretty amazing. That's cool. Did 
It's like the oh, oh, there we go. They they group up in this leg. So when you oh, oh dude, it's a big one. That's a nice one. Sorry, I had to. Repeat. I'll have a seat, I guess. Thanks. All right, <laughs> I got ready? the net ready, buddy. All right, this is a good fish, bud. Fired up. My goodness. Oh, oh came, right came off. off. That's the only reason you weren't getting bit. Yeah. What's up, everybody? Look at that, guys. See if I can keep this one pinned. I'm 0 for 2 so far on the drop shot. I'm not fishing the hook that I've been fishing recently, which is kind of making me pause now. And that's here if you need it. Oh, thank you. I probably will need the Ranger this time. Jeez, another tank, son. <laughs> the all three right. that you've hooked on a drop shot have all been over. All right. Good fish. That's the smallest bait I've thrown on this body of water. That is a nice oh, fish. Oh gosh, man. <clears throat> yeah. You guys ever wonder what algae tastes like? It's not good. I, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I've got this thing barely hooked on the inside lining of its mouth. It's a good fish. It's pushing four, yeah. maybe, maybe four. And that's getting bites when nothing else is. You know, that's impressive. If you guys notice the color of this three inch Hazadong shad, it's called Disco Stain. It actually almost matches the algae tint in the water that we're fishing. And I don't know if people realize how much I actually try to mimic that water color at times. You know, why is that? What do you think the bait fish are doing. They're camouflaged too. They don't want to be seen. That's how you get eaten. You guys haven't already? Do us a solid. Subscribe to our channels. Jay Pratt's got one. I've got one. And of course, make sure you turn your notifications on for the Big Bass Dreams channel here. Hey. Oh gosh, dang. Hey. Oh, my. Woo, boys. Look at that. Get in the net, son! <laughs> Bruh. Son is what we say. Bruh. Woo. That's a heavy one, boys. Right when we thought it, oh man, look at that. That's just a football and a half, boys. <laughs> That's a proper one. That's a proper, proper Minnesota largemouth. That's a cracker, mate. All right, guys, I'm Jay Pratt, Jeremy Pratt. Check out my YouTube channel. This is Oliver Nye. Kyle behind the camera. We're closing this out. This is a beautiful northern Minnesota five and a half pound largemouth bass. You ready, girl? <sighs> She's gone. Today we went largemouth fishing in central Minnesota. It was actually really stormy in the morning and now the sun came out. Oliver got him on finesse drop shot, which I've never done on this lake or any other heavy duty. Look how small that is. I've not done that on largemouth lakes where I normally power fish. I'm usually using a jig, you know, a big Texas rig, big Cinco. He was throwing this little drop shot midday. He got some key bites. Uh, it was really awesome to see something different. But other than that, we got, I think, four over five pounds, which you can't complain about in Minnesota. Uh, as much as I did not want to go straight to a finesse presentation, those conditions we faced today were perfect for it. We had caught some fish previously on bigger, uh, faster baits, and then that bite just shut off and I was eating and I was able to squeeze in extra bites from solid fish and a couple dinks simply by drop, you know, downsizing to a drop shot rig and finessing them and taking advantage of the poor conditions that we had for everything else that we wanted to come out here and do. 